A man who was questioned almost 50 years ago as a suspect for the brutal murder of a woman in Wilmer is now charged with a 1974 crime. 79-year-old Elgene Vossen was charged for stabbing and killing May Herman in her home. He was arrested in South Dakota yesterday. WCCO's Marielle Mose has more on the investigation. We knew some people that lived next door and they chose to move out of their home um, right away just for the reason being they thought it was like a random, a random situation. Jim Anderson and his wife moved into a home on 6th Street just a few years after 74-year-old May Herman was stabbed to death in her home on January 27th, 1974. I know it was upsetting because there was uh, a number of people that were accused unfairly. The main detective that worked on this case for so many years uh, passed away, I believe it was in April. Wilmer Police Chief Jim Feltz wanted to pick up the hard work colleagues before him never got the chance to finish. He made the call to reopen this cold case in June, and less than a month later, they were able to find DNA on evidence they had in storage, leading to the arrest of 79-year-old Algene Vossen in South Dakota. DNA was an unheard of thing there, so just what they were able to get uh, from this and be able to, for the comparisons and the quick turnaround was uh, nothing short of, of a miracle. From first talks with Vossen, investigators have picked up that Vossen targeted this home and May Herman inside at random. He didn't know her beforehand, and they still don't know why he killed her. He was interviewed several times uh, during during that. Uh, a few years afterwards, he was re-interviewed, and uh, nothing conclusive came about at that time. But uh, when they went through the reports again, he really stuck out as a suspect. Chief Felt spent Friday calling anyone connected to this cold case to let them know they finally have closure, including one of May Herman's granddaughters. It was came as a total surprise for her. 46 years later to hear that news. I reached out uh, to one of the, the previous suspects to let him know that he had been cleared from it. You know, he's lived in that shadow for 46 years, so that was pretty amazing to be able to bring that news to somebody, too. In Wilmer, Marielle Mose, WCCO 4 News.